All right, so one more example here using the limit comparison test. So here we're going to look at the series uh, 1 to infinity of n to the third plus 1 over n to the fourth minus n plus 5. So I'm going to do the same trick as before. I'm going to keep these dominant terms. So in the numerator, you know, the, the, the value that will get largest the fastest will be the n to the third. You know, in the denominator, we've got n to the fourth, and then we have an n. As n gets large, n to the fourth is going to get much bigger, much faster than n to the first will. So n to the fourth is the dominant term in the denominator. Well, n to the third over n to the fourth, that's just 1 over n. And we know that this is a divergent p-series. Okay. So, all right, so we've got our series. All the terms are going to be positive here. Um, we'll take the limit as n goes to infinity. n to the third plus 1 over n to the fourth minus n plus 5. Okay, so we divide it by 1 over n, but dividing by 1 over n is the same thing as multiplying by n over 1. So I usually never write the division step. I just jump to the multiplication because that's what we're going to have to do anyway. Well, this one's not too bad. Um, in the numerator, we have n to the fourth plus n. In the denominator, well, nothing really changes. But again, now the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator. We can just, uh, the limit's going to equal the ratio of the, the leading coefficients, which is going to be 1 over 1, or we'll get our limit to equal 1. And again, this is a positive finite number. So that tells us that both series do the same thing. In this case, uh, since we compared it to a divergent p-series, that would tell us that our new series that we're interested in must also diverge.